Modern medicine right now focuses just on people's diseases, their diabetes, their high blood pressure, their strep throat, and students and residents learn that material very well. The problem in modern medicine is that it has not incorporated the person dimension of it. Medicine focuses on the disease as it's currently taught. What we're advocating is to focus on the disease, but also its personal and emotional context. And that's what patient-centeredness brings, is it brings in your personal, your emotional, your social dimensions. It still addresses your disease. It simply adds these other pieces to it. And we then went on, now that we had a systematic method, you could study it. Previously, it had been un impossible to study a patient-centered interview because nobody did it the same way between people or even within the same person. People, it was just widely variable. So now we had a consistent, repeatable patient-centered interview, and we could study it to see if people indeed could learn it. And in fact, that's what we did and showed in a randomized controlled trial that it was easily learned, efficient, and repeatable. And it's taken a couple uh, directions. One is we work to identify a patient-centered interviewing method. We then incorporated that method into a primary care mental health model. Nobody is now teaching this, nor are they training their residents to do it. It's a quantum leap ahead. That's what we're talking about. And it would be a major change, and major changes like this do not come easily. So we, we're not naive about it, and that's, that's why what I think will happen is that once we get a few programs that have started with a show it works, that it can be disseminated the way we're proposing, people will pick up on it.